2016 Malibu VTX. Uh, it's a great condition boat, blue and white, sweet looking. Today we're going to put in gator step on uh, the interior and the back rails as well as fresh air exhaust. If you've heard me talk about fresh air exhaust before, this is a uh, key for surfing. Make sure your kids are safe and anybody else back behind the boat just to keep them out of the exhaust. This actually goes on the back of the boat and as the water passes through the bottom, it sucks the exhaust out into the water column so you'd really have no exhaust. It also makes your boat way quieter so it's like the cheapest upgrade to stereo you can make as well. We're gonna get to it here shortly and uh, we'll show you how it's done. We got our instructions here. There's also a sheet. If you've seen me do this before, you have to fill out with your owner's name and email address. You measure, take a few measurements, send it into fresh air exhaust, and that's your warranty to ensure you, uh, you know, did it right and they make sure to warranty it. Um, there's a list of tools you need. This mostly tools you'd have around the house. Uh, we'll walk you through all that here shortly. We're gonna get all these parts opened up read through the instructions, make sure we know what we're doing, and then we'll go step by step on how to install this on a 2016 Malibu Wake Setter VTX. What we do is we have two of these square bolts, and they go right here, one here, one here. You don't want to loosen these all four together because the wedge will just drop. So you're gonna, we're gonna pull two, install this, bolt it in, and then install the second one and bolt it in. That's step one. two bars installed we got these ones tight we left these ones a little bit loose so we can kind of shift them around a little bit we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, get working on this exhaust port so that we can get that cleaned up get the new flapper in and uh, get the exhaust mounted all right our next step is to take off this flapper there's two Phillips screws at the top we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll go on to the next step two screws here there's two more screws right here Fresh air exhaust, this is an option. It's about 50, 60 bucks, depending on the boat. Um, they say you don't necessarily need it. I always like to add it, because if you know if anything does happen and water rushes up, it's gonna stop it from going in the engine. So we did go ahead and, and uh, upgrade it with the flapper. So we're gonna take some silicone sealant. We're gonna take these screws out, then we're gonna apply some silicone sealant in the holes and uh, install this new flapper uh, mount system here and then we'll be go ahead we'll be ready to pop the exhaust onto that and finish this project up if you're using an impact driver with stainless bolts make sure to don't make sure you don't over tighten them because you can snap the heads off of these pretty quickly and then you have a real mess on your hands trying to get these things out of there the AE is to slip on this rubber hose onto this bracket and then we have two hose clamps one for the fresh air exhaust portion and one for tightening against this we're going to install this rubber tighten this on and then we'll get the fresh air exhaust mounted all right we got first one tight we're gonna go ahead and slip on the fresh air exhaust onto this. I like to keep the wrapping on as long as possible, just prevent scratching and things like that. We're gonna have to take some of this cardboard off right here because the brackets underneath here that mounts to this. So we'll leave as much as we can on it. Okay. 
All right, so you can see the bracket here on that for fresh air exhaust that mounts to these square tubes here. We've kept these a little bit loose so that we can move it around if needed and make sure it's centered and all that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and slip it on to the exhaust port here. Two bolts so that we can uh, get this mounted. gonna get these two other bolts that are on the end of these bars put in we'll get them uh, just finger tight and then we'll check the the level of the pressure exhaust and make sure it's centered on the wedge and and then you know finish up the final tightening so again we're gonna now that we've got it mounted we're gonna go ahead and put the regular nuts on we're gonna make sure everything's centered we're going to tighten everything complete and then we're going to take these regular nuts off one by one and install the nylock nuts once everything's set take our measurements from uh, center of the prop to the ground and the bottom of the FAE to the ground, do the calculations for the warranty form, get that sent to them, then we'll cut off the plastic for the swim deck and we should be good to go. All right, we got our warranty form all filled out. We're going to scan this in, email it to Fresh Air Exhaust so that they have a record of it and We'll be done with this project. We're going to pull the carpet out, pull the uh, unscrew the snaps and go ahead and throw the gator step in here we actually ordered gator step to match the swim pad black and shark fin are the two colors this swim pad's pretty dirty so it's not going to probably look like it matches right now until this gets cleaned up a little bit but it'll look exactly the same as this and i'll finish this boat off and make it to the next level so each kit you get from gator step comes with this map so you know where the pieces go. They're numbered here. The pieces are also numbered. That way there's no confusion on where to put these things. All right, we got our two pieces for the side we're gonna start with, piece 11 and 12. We're gonna make sure the boat is clean, free of wax, anything like that, clean off some alcohol. And then we'll go ahead and put these port side rail pieces in and we'll go ahead and do the starboard after that. We're in the rear locker of this 2016 VTX, uh, looking at the ballast bags. Previously, the system had, it didn't have a vent, and so the bag would fill with air and you'd have to open up this air release, this FATSEC air release, let the air out, close it to get all the air out so that it would fill with water. Uh, you can see the back there is the drain hose. There's a pump connected directly to the bag. 
right here there is a uh, that's the fill from the fill pump and then here was this air release plug and you couldn't just leave it open because it would leak water so you had to constantly open it and close it so what we did is we teed into the uh, the drain right here pull it down a little bit so you can see it and um, we installed a check valve that will actually close when the bag is draining to make sure it sucks all the way flat and then we added a suction stop and a quick connect so when we hook this up we can throw these away and now when the bag fills any air that uh, is in the bag will vent out the side of the boat and uh, ensure that this bag gets completely full with water and gets all the air out of the system I don't know uh, what year Malibu's they changed this but this is how they were plumbed in 2016 for the plug-and-play system and it's it was frustrating for the owner of this boat so we just went ahead and corrected both sides of this boat if you're looking for this part um, I'll put a link in the description of this video you can pick it up from our website and we'll send it out we have them in stock thanks for watching if you guys live locally and you have a boat that you need any projects done with hit us up um, and we'll take care of it for you 2016 Malibu is leaving right now a customer came to pick it up just to recap we installed the fresh air exhaust on this boat uh, single piece Make sure your kids are safe and anybody else serving behind the boat to stay away from the carbon monoxide. Hop into the boat here. We also installed gator step in the floor. And got rid of the carpet. As well as the side rails to keep the kids from scratching up the side of the boat. And the one other last thing we did was, again, fix the plumbing of his uh, locker sacks so that they vent properly without pulling that air release plug then this 2016 Malibu is going to go hit the lake one more time and before it gets ready for winter